Buckle up, everybody. <laughs> this is a big one. So we're going to get right into business. This is Sam. Hi. I'm Dan. And today we are covering Copper Johns. Longtime affiliate, great company to work with. Got all the, the details here, you guys. Very, very simple on this one. Dan C15 is worth 15% off. That's it. Easy peasy. Dan C15, 15% <laughs> off, affiliate discount code. I spent a week at Yellowstone with this uh, company and the owner, and I've helped develop everything from literally their beard butter. I helped reformulate. I have two different scents that I helped create with them with Skipper and Polies. We helped give feedback on the deodorant, on the rebrand, so many different <laughs> things, you guys. We work really closely with this company. And in this video, we've got rebranding, new products, and we're gonna go over every single scent that they offer. It's gonna be quick. We're gonna go in through like it. a fast way. But first, this is something many of you have been waiting for, kind of a big moment here, and that is natural deodorant. Yep. If you guys are not familiar, I have changed most aspects of my life in terms of health because of my beard. I now do yearly checkups. I do blood work a couple of times a year. Uh, we are conscious about our body wash, about our face wash, about beard products. Our food. Our food, everything. The one last thing that I was holding <laughs> out on that I knew wasn't good was I was using like lower quality deodorant, deodorant with antiperspirant <laughs> and aluminum in it. How long ha was that like your one deodorant yeah. from the start of your deodorant wearing life? I'm sure I wore some I've like- I've never seen you change. I don't, yeah, <laughs> I, I just used the same one because it worked and I have a fear of smelling. I am not the guy that's like, yeah, I'll be manly and musky oh. and stuff. Like, I don't ever want to smell bad. Well, <laughs> how many weeks do you think it's been since I have started using the natural deodorant from Copper John's? Like a month, maybe? I was going to say about a month. Yeah. I, I was like, maybe it's short. I don't know. So yeah. it's been about a month now. And I have, and I do know that there's for a lot of people like a detox period. Uh -huh. Your body's got to cleanse all that aluminum, yeah. all that stuff out. I have not had any issues whatsoever. I use this every day and I've tried natural deodorants in the past. And my main problem was it would be like goopy and like oh, yeah. wet or greasy yeah, on my arm. And about. I could not do that. This one, at first there was a little bit with that. And I think it was, I had to adjust how much I yeah. was using and I was just using too much. Since then I've dialed it in and I gave some feedback to Tyson. He's made it even firmer. I have not had any issues and I've had zero, this is weird to talk about, but I've had zero smell whatsoever. <laughs> now, and so I'm. this is what I use now. Yeah. I'm gonna keep this coming. This is my, my one. Sam, tell them about your journey, the okay. ups and the downs of the natural deodorant. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm so sad. So Tyson also sent me one. I started using it. I have been on a um, life's mission over <laughs> the past year to find a natural deodorant. I, unlike Dan, at, just get stinky. <laughs> I get, I'm a sweater. Like if you guys know Maddox and his sweating, like he got it from me. Mm -hmm. Constantly sweating. If I don't wear deodorant, I get stinky. And so I use the heavy duty aluminum deodorant. Like medical grade. Yes, medical grade. <laughs> <deodorant. laughs> Literally. <laughs> Have looked into getting Botox in my armpits for that reason. So I was really hesitant to try it, but I was like, you know what? If you're going to do it, I'm going to do it. Yeah. It smells really good. It's not masculine. It's not feminine. It's just like a good natural scent. Just natural, yeah. And so I started using it. It worked fabulously. She cried. I cr She cried I tears of joy. I was so happy mm -hmm. to find a natural deodorant that lasted, that didn't burn my armpits, that I could wear at any time and not, you know, ruin clothes and things like that. But then my body decided that it actually realized that there was <laughs> baking soda and my body does not like baking soda. That's been the problem with the previous the previous natural deodorants for her was the yes. irritation from baking soda. Yes. But it wasn't like an instant thing for me. Right. Um, I don't know if maybe I was using too much or if my body needed to go through like a process oh, to yeah. get used to it. But it was just like... It just got too painful for me. And if you've used natural deodorants in the past and you've never gotten that like baking soda burning thing, then this one st would You're work. Good. You're good. Yeah. yeah. It's just, I've tried every brand out there and it just, my underarms, they're very picky. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, but I'm so sad because it worked so well. She was so excited. The consistency was great. The smell was great. I just can't. Yeah. My body, man. Unfortunately. But... It works for me, yeah. so I'm super excited. Pretty cool taking that step forward. One thing I would say is that I found that when I was using it, that put it on when you don't, for me, this this was for me. I know you do it different. But yeah. I put it on when I didn't have a shirt on. So, like, when I was getting ready in the morning, um, put it on, let it sink in and dry a little bit, and then I would put my shirt on. Otherwise, I would get, like, the, the wet, like, what do you even call that? Goopy feeling. Not, it's yeah. not like goopy, like on my shirt, but it's just like you'd be like, oh shoot, I got it on my shirt. Oh, the you marks. Know, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. And it's not like white marks, it's like clear marks. Yeah. I don't know how Oily to Oily marks. Oily marks, yeah. yeah because yep. I think what the first ingredient is coconut oil yeah. or something like yep. that. Yep. And so I, for me, had to let it dry. Now, you, because I think because I had to use so much more than you because of my stinkiness. <laughs> Yeah. And so you put it on with your shirt on, right? I do. And just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. And so you don't get that. You don't so have that issue. Let us know down below, you guys. We are we're gonna go rapid fire now. I know that was a lot on deodorant, but this was a big deal to <laughs> yes. us and something we really thoroughly tried and we wanted to give you that always transparent information. Yeah. We'd love to say it changed her life. But <sighs> we gotta be honest here. So it, let us know. Have you tried this one? Do you use natural deodorant? Are you like with Sam? You're like, I just can't. <laughs> let us know. I'm curious your thoughts out there. I can't wait to get some more. So a couple of other things. Copper John's now, and I wanted to show some of the different packaging so you guys can see just how classy and how clean and, and nice it is. Another new product that they have is spray cologne. Spray cologne, you guys. So they've got the spray cologne bottle, and essentially it's oh, cool. in their, their popular cologne scented beard oils. Nice. And so if you like a beard oil scent and you're like, it's not strong enough, boom. It doesn't <laughs> last long enough, boom. They got you covered with those spray colognes. Uh, they have their beard butters, again, rebranded, so classy. Their butter is very light, very nourishing, and I really helped every single step of the way from ingredients to ratios to cooling process. I'm very proud of that. They also have a mustache wax. Now, I don't wear mustache wax, but many people that do have beautiful, amazing handlebar mustaches swear by this. If you don't believe me, go check out their YouTube channel. There's a bunch of uh, mustache content creators that make videos for Copper Johns. And how do you like that? Pretty cool little yeah, container. Yeah, snazzy. Fit in your pocket. Snazzy. Now, also, Beard Balm, same kind of thing. Their Beard Balm is a firm beard balm. And I believe Beard Balm is new with their rebrand and relaunch wow. uh, before they just had the butter. So they do have this Beard Balm. Ladies, by the way, Sam just started uh, <laughs> dabbling with some Beard Balm on, on the baby hairs. Yep. And it worked, right? It did. Super Phenomenal. Cool. And then they also have some soaps that are super high quality soaps you got. So if you want to get some soaps for your beard and for your body, if you do use soap on your beard, I don't recommend using it more than once a week. They have great beard wash that you can use every single day. Uh, but soap on your body, I use soap on my body every single day. And I then, hope so. <laughs> no, like actual soap. Not like just body wash and okay. stuff. Yeah, okay. I use soap bars on my body every day. Because <laughs> uh, body wash is a whole different story. We'll get into that. But... Let's get into the scents okay. before we get into the scents. They have two options. They don't have full-fledged like sample pack right now, I don't okay. believe, but they do offer one ounce oils and 0.5 ounce oils. Okay. So if you do want something that's not a full commitment and not the full price, you can try out a one ounce oil. It's just so cute. It's so tiny. Just a cute little <laughs> bottle there. All right, rapid fire on the scents Ooh. here. We're gonna tell you guys what they are and then get Sam's take on it. Spoiler, some of these we've used for years and have <laughs> loved, so we are familiar familiar with, with most of these ones. All right, first one is The Hunt, which is unscented. Okay. Any smell? Maybe the tiniest natural scent. Teeny tiny, yeah. but I agree. Maybe something there, but it's yeah. pretty much unscented. All right, the first one, you guys, Sundance. <laughs> uh, oh, my land. Many of you know about this one, and it <laughs> couldn't be any more, like, ingrained in our family. All right, so we'll do this one. We'll get the kind of top in, in here. Sundance. Mm. What's your take okay, on let it? Let me smell it again. Yeah. I think your hands have stuff on So it. Sundance is an aquatic cologne. <sighs> and it's just, it's a citrus aquatic cologne. We got a lot to do, so don't be doing too many on your skin. I'm serious. <laughs> the citrus aquatic cologne, it's just, what would be your, they want to hear from you, not me. They, it's, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just like the most fabulous aquatic 
cologne I've ever smelled. It's there, very cologne-y. Yep. Just FYI. It's a sweet, bright cologne. Yes. It's not real musky and spicy. It's light. Yeah. If I've there's never been a time I've worn this, and I wear this a lot, where Sam has not commented. <laughs> Every single time she has commented. Yeah. And it's so good. And their oil, by the way, guys, is I actually helped develop this oil blend. If you're familiar with their old gray line, this is their gray line. It's just their normal beard oil now. And so it's a medium slash medium thick viscosity. Really good stuff. All right. Now another one. Nightfall. This is another cologne. I'll let you do that okay. here. And uh, this was one of Sam's original loves. All right. So nightfall. Give it a little smell ski. Doing your best here. Mm, so this one's like a darker. Yep. Darker, like nighttime cologne. A hundred percent. This is definitely a going out, a yeah. date night. Yes. Sundance, you can wear it to bed. You can wear it any day, anywhere. I wouldn't wear it to bed. It's I, too cologne for bed. I like it for bed. It <laughs> actually, relax. the citrus in it relaxes me. <laughs> yeah, Nightfall is, is a man's cologne. Like a man's date night, going out type mm -hmm. cologne. So that one's really good. All right, Skipper. And then uh, they have on here, they do have the scent profiles right on the side. So you just got to find them. This one is one that I helped create the scent profile. This is a lighter scent. It's just straight up lemon lime. So this is a citrus scent here. So see what you think on, on just the pure lemon oh, lime. Oh yeah, it definitely is. Mm -hmm. That's that's about all. Yep. I, yep. <laughs> it is lemon lime. I can confirm. <laughs> and I love lemon lime, you guys. If you're looking for a light, refreshing citrus, give uh, Skipper a shot. All right, next one is the Bourbon Bayou. And they say this profile, it, I always say this, what is that word, that phrase? I always say I've it wrong. I've never ah, seen man. that in my life. Guys, go ahead and, <laughs> and tell us in the comments. It's spelled like Nag Campa, and I know it's not that. I know you guys are like, ah, oh, I have no Dan idea again. what that even is. You've heard it. It just sounds totally different. And they're, I'm I know these people, they're screaming at me right now. I can admit it. I don't know how to say that one. Nah, man. I know it too. Okay. So it's that, it's smoke, tobacco, and citrus. Okay. Oh, man, it'll probably come to me right after filming. Interesting. Mm-hmm. It almost gives me like a, what are those stick things that people light? Incense. Incense Agreed. sort of scent. Yeah. I dislike this one. I don't like this at all. It's interesting. Mm-hmm. I would agree it's an incense type yeah. scent for sure. All right, the next one is uh, Mountain River, and this one is Smoky Orange and Cedar. Don't open it because I gotta flip it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> and and we're here. We obviously want to share our thoughts, but we want to describe oh. them accurately so you guys can figure Smoky out which one fits your preference or not. It it is. It's like a almost like a sweet smoky scent. Yeah. Do you get that? 100. percent Like when you're roasting marshmallows, sort of. 100. percent Yeah. Yeah. To a T. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, for me. I agree. It's I'm not okay. a big smoky fan. Yep. Yep, I agree. And most of these guys I've had for years, not these exact bottles, <laughs> but I've had these scents and stuff for years and years. All right, next one is Polies. This was one I helped develop, and it is a bergamot, one of my favorite smells, basil leaf, oak moss, and orange. Okay. And so, yep, Polies here. So give that a little, little smell ski. And then there's another little hidden scent in the background, if I remember correctly, and it is a cherry almond. Why can't I smell it? It's a light one okay. for sure. Yep, this is a light one. Ah, there it is. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. It is really, really nice. It's oh, smooth. I like that. Mm hmm It's very complex and layered, even though it's not strong. It's like, um, like a bright floral, but not mm. feminine yeah. sort of scent. What I wanted. Like, yeah. what I want. I love that's floral beautiful. scents. Like, I don't want potpourri. I don't yeah. want women's women's uh like, like too, type of floral. Too like sweet yeah, floral, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely crushed it with polies there. All right, next one is their take on barbershop. Oh, don't open it, don't open it, Dan. And uh if you guys don't know, Copper John's in Utah does have a Copper John's barbershop. So if you guys are local at all, go check it out. I've heard oh. great things. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Love hidden gems. Have I gem. smelled this before? A, 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 I haven't worn it in a long time before <sighs> this, but yes, a oh long time ago. Love. It smells like it smells like that Abercrombie scent. You know, like back in the day, like yeah. us like nineties yep. kids, like walk in the mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it. it when you walk That's in the mall, so good. You remember all the like clothing stores had a distinct smell. Yes. Each one of them. This is kind of like Abercrombie, oh. which is wild. That I miss that. They don't have that anymore. No. I went in there the other day, not the other day, like two months ago, 
They didn't <laughs> smell like that. I was offended. All right, another one I always struggle with. I know I should know how to pronounce this. Old Ephraim, I believe is how you say it. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably don't butchering know. it. This is tobacco, redwood, pear, and bay leaf. Okay. I know. This one, there's, there's a couple. You guys ever do that game where you like pronounce it wrong, you hear the right way, and then you second guess yourself huh. forever, and you just keep going back and forth. You're like, I don't know if that's the right one. I do it with names sometimes. Yes. Phil Foden. <laughs> oh, my Foden, 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 Foden. I don't know which one's right. It, that is an interesting, mm -hmm. interesting. Very okay. interesting. Because I smell, it almost has like a smoky scent, and I think that's where like the tobacco is coming in. But then that pear like brightens so, it up. It's so interesting. It is so, in I don't know if I like it or I don't like it. I think I'm right in the middle. I don't hate it. Yep. <laughs> it's, please, if you've tried this, let us know. I need more pear in my life. I, I, I love pear. That smells good. Pump I love pear scents. <laughs> love. All right, next one is On the Rocks, and this one is a pineapple margarita. Pineapple oh. margarita. Interesting. Right. Yes, pineapple margarita. Um, we, I feel like we say this every video. Uh, we don't drink, so oh. alcohol scents aren't for us if it smells like alcohol. However, that it, oftentimes isn't talking about the actual smell, but more so like the essence of it. Okay. it It's not alcohol -y at all. It It's pineapple-y, but... I get, I can get the margarita scent because it has that, like, the sweetness from, yeah. like, a margarita mix. It's, like, a pineapple margarita virgin style. Yeah, and then I get some, like, zestiness to it. It's not, like, cough syrup. It's not, yeah. like, a, a terrible, like, fake smell. Yeah, it's not, like, an artificial, yeah. overly sweetened pineapple. Yep. It's just, like, a... Like a sugared pineapple. Hey, we're, we're right there. Yeah, it's a <laughs> margarita with sugar on the rim, not salt. <laughs> so true. All right, next one is Angler's Code, and this is blood orange, lime, agave, golden oud, and myrrh. Golden oud? Mm -hmm. There's, I was looking up oud scents yesterday, like actual essential oil ones. There, I looked up like 22 different ones. What? Yeah, and they're crazy expensive. Some companies only sell them in like a sixteenth of a of a milliliter. That is perplexing for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the smell is. Yeah, I agree. I know many people. So when I ask like, "What's your favorite Copper John scent?" There's a lot of people that say Angler's Code. I've always been okay with it. Yeah. I, and I don't even yeah, blood orange, lime, agave, golden oud, and myrrh. It's like you have the citrus world uh -huh. mixing with like dark. Yeah. Cologne I'm manly like sense. Amber's not in there. It too, does. It seems like an amber. I sort bet of you there would be. I think you're spot on. <laughs> I would bet that because you you have to blend those two things. Yeah. You need something that's going to pair them. And something like amber can be a bridge. I yeah. bet you there is amber, maybe a little vanilla in there, something along those lines. Yeah. I, I yeah. can't pick out any of those scents. I agree. I'm not like, oh, yes, blood orange smells so good. I agree. Maybe oud, giving it that like God muskiness. Dang. I am on the same page with you. Like every <laughs> word today. Yeah, the the oud the in there. I would like more lime. I would like more of the sweetness on it. Yeah. Uh, but I do know a lot of you love it. It's definitely a natural smell. Mm -hmm. It's a natural type smell. All right, next one is Ghost Falls. And this one is apple cider, fresh fresh sage, and juniper berry. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's going to smell interesting. Yeah. I like this one. Spoiler. Did you tighten that? <laughs> I probably yes. did. She's like, put the cat back on. <laughs> Ooh. I do. Do you wear this a lot? I do. I know. Yep. I like this one a lot. It reminds me of you because really? you wear it a lot. I do. It's like a chill, That's everyday like, scent. This is like your essence. Interesting. Is this smell. That's <laughs> funny. It. I really like that. It's like sweet, but natural, but oh, fresh, stop. but stop masculine. It. Oh, stop <laughs> it. Sexy. Come on now. <laughs> I like how you added yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's pretty low key. Yeah. It's pretty like neutral, but it's manly, but it's like nature. Yeah. I really like Ghost Falls. I, I really do. Really, too. really like. I need to start talking about that more because <laughs> uh, it's not something I crave. I'm not like, oh, I need Ghost Falls. I need, I just like, yeah. I don't know what to wear today. Ghost Falls. Yeah. I don't know what to wear today. Ghost Falls. And then I did want to show the packaging for the oil. This is our last one here. So you guys can see the box that it comes in. You know, just again. I'm thrilled with their packaging. So good. Again. Could I see this in Target in the men's section? A million percent. Yeah, you even this, got the gold foil this, here. Yes, that it's. 
that's phenomenal. Yep, it's it looks so good. Very, very, very well done. They did well a really done. good job. All right, then the last one is 1903, and okay. this one is Juniper, Sage, Orange, and Cedar. What happened in 1903? <sighs> I was born. It was a great year. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I don't know. All right, what you got on this one? Okay, I get the cedar. Mm-hmm. It's very light. Yep. Um, Strong cedar base for me, too. Yeah. It's just very, like, natural. Yep. I think the cedar kind of, like, overpowers everything else. It's very light. But it's just, like, light. a natural light scent. Yep. And that, and the theme is outdoors for Copper yeah. Johns, you guys, with the exception of their, like, colognes. So many of these are outdoor-themed, yeah. outdoor-inspired, natural-type-inspired. We like those scents, yes. so that fits us really well. We're not into the more and more I do this, I'm not into artificial. I'm not like into food scent. Yeah, and like all these these really strong, complex yeah. scents, you just kind of get burned out on them sometimes. Mm -hmm. At least for us, and I've heard that for many of you. So many options, yeah. so many products. They are absolutely killing it. Top of the mountain customer service, you guys. Please leave comments down below with your experiences with this company. Um, I don't know if you guys caught, I did an interview live stream. Tyson, the owner, talked about the rebrand. He started uh, crying. He got in tears <laughs> because he was so like proud and emotionally happy you, about what he's created. You can tell when an owner is super passionate yep. about his company, and you can tell when they don't give a crap. When it's just, you can tell when it's just transactions and numbers yeah. on the screen. It's just money. Just yeah. on to the next one. Tyson, like probably to yeah. a fault at times. He cares about this stuff. I need to stuff. meet Tyson in real life. That's wild that you have Tyson. it. And I've spent a week with him. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's so cool here. Again, guys, let us know your questions down below. What are your favorite scents? What are your favorite products? What are your experiences? Your comments really help out people that haven't tried these. They're like, we trust Dan and Sam. We, but they want to hear from you. You know, they want to hear those comments down below. Sam, any final thoughts, words? Just overly thrilled with everything with Copper John's. I'm so happy for them. Yeah. They're, they've gone they through a lot it. and they deserve it. Tons of work, great family behind it. So Man, I feel like there's a million more things we could say here, but it's uh, a long enough video. Thank you guys for hanging to the end. If you haven't, hit that thumbs up. Sam, thank you for joining us today. Welcome. And everybody out there, can't wait to read your comments. Sam C., Dan C., please stay bearded and stay positive.